Hi, my name is Austin Mast, and I am a co-PI on iDigBio, and I am responsible for the domain focused on digitization, workforce development, and citizen science. iDigBio has been offering professional development opportunities for 12 years now, and in the last two years, we've been repackaging these into what's called the Digitization Academy. And the academy is our attempt to offer a set of courses that are complementary in uh, important ways and cover the well, landscape of need for our community. And we do these courses in two formats. We either do a 12 hour course that's spread over four days or four weeks, and we do a two hour course. And the 12 hour course is um, capped at 25 participants so that we have an opportunity to really build a, a learning community over that time. The two hour course is open to anybody and um, we might have 100 or 200 or more participants depending on the topic. The two hour course is really for those emerging topics that um, we see a lot of opportunity in like photogrammetry and immersive media and, and things like that. Our approach to these courses really is to recognize that three things make, make them magical um, for everybody. Uh, and that is um, echoed in the three parts to our logo. The first bit is the systematic overview. We're trying to deliver things in a very clear way um, so that everybody can level up no matter where they're starting. We're also adding to this the, um, the experience of the participants. Every course offering is different because there are different people involved in them. And that is adding a lot of uh, interest for me in these courses because it's an opportunity to join a cohort that is faced with the same challenges, um, some of the same challenges as you. And finally, an expert panel. And these expert panels are thought leaders or tool providers or something else. And they're suggesting or helping us to understand what the edge of the possible is. Our oldest um, course is our intro course. And for that, we have a panel composed of representatives from collection management systems. These are the ones that uh, permitted us to use their logo on the front page that might grow a bit that list, there are certainly additional CMS providers that are engaged in the panels. This is, by the way, a, uh, a website that we're just about to release. We're just doing the final tweaks on it. And so if I talk about things changing, that's, that's why. And we take feedback very seriously. We do a debrief after every course asking, what can we learn to make the next offering better? Courses that we're offering this year include the collection um, intro course in English and the intro course in Spanish. And Fritz Pichardo Marcano is part of our team. He's working to translate that. It might be offered at this time in May, or it might be a different time. These things are really a challenge to translate um, well, I should say. We, we really wanna do these well when we're offering these in other languages. Uh, we're going to offer an immersive introduction to immersive media, including AI. I'm sorry, <laughs> AI appears in one of our other courses. AR, augmented reality, virtual reality, and mixed reality. Uh, we're going to do digital imaging of biodiversity collections as a course for the first time this August, which I am deeply involved in. And uh, public participation in digitization in December, what's sometimes called citizen science. We have a great team and uh, have had some great people on the team who've rotated off. And uh, I mentioned Fritz, uh, Nicole, and Alex are both recent MFAs from our art department and bring a complementary set of skills to those that our collections community participants bring. Okay, I'm out of time at this point. I just want to finally end with uh, acknowledgement of the National Science Foundation who has funded this work. 
and thank you for your attention.